Welcome to the Weekend Homestead. Here we are again, another update on the house. I got my uh, Walter White outfit on today. So it's uh, kind of a coverall. I'm using it because I'm doing some epoxy work on the walls in the basement again uh, to get ready for the next phase of this project. But I thought I'd give you a couple updates and show you kind of what the inside looks like. As you can see, we have a lot of new boxes and a lot more uh, stuff here. So. It can be a lot tricky now because we got a lot of things coming into the house and we got to get a lot of things done. We've got the electrical to do this weekend. We've got the plumbing to get going. I um, wanted to show you this uh, behind us here. Uh, the new fireplace is in, at least the rough part. I um, wanted to show you. So if you remember that heat duct I was talking about, this is the duct that comes off the side, goes down in the basement and it'll connect into the fire or the furnace downstairs and we'll use the fireplace to heat. And then this fireplace is exceptionally efficient. Uh, it uses an air intake on the side there. So eventually this will all be rocked in. There will be a wood mantle and a, a stone hearth on the bottom. Uh, definitely coming together. We got uh, some of our insulation up in the top, starting to get some of the parts all kind of closed in. Same thing up here, got a little bit of insulation done. Uh, but the most important part is right there. Yep, no more back door. Uh, we actually did some uh, big changes here. We have a room, 12 by 16 sunroom. We finished it this week, got the trusses up, have some tarps on the roof. Uh, this next week will tie into the other part of the house up there and uh, get some shingles on and get it kind of buttoned up. Uh, right here, we're gonna punch through and um, we're gonna punch through right here where we put in a big window. Um, over in this area here, there's gonna be a set of lockers and a little closet. And then right here is the actual door to the house. Uh, if you see this large green beam up on the top up here, that is uh, the header for a giant uh, widescreen window there. And then same thing over here in the corner, we'll have a little stove. I'll take you guys outside and I'll show you kind of what the outside looks like on, on all this also. But yeah, we got this uh, started. We'll get the door in. Uh, we'll get the door to the house in. So behind me right here, there'll be a door. Um, kind of a nice little room. Way to get out of the house, sit outside, not have a bunch of bugs. We'll have screens and all the windows and everything. Uh, the space is not heated other than a wood stove that we have that we're gonna be putting in the corner. Um, walk back out here. All these uh, boxes you see here and all the boxes over there, those are all um, electrical uh, parts. We got our transfer switch and our power panel right here. So that's our weekend project. Uh, we're gonna get all the basic electrical up in this place and uh, kind of get that done. Um, the hope is, is to have the electric company come out in the next week trench in our lines and uh, get our stuff hooked up and then that phase of the project will be on its way. So really no updates on this side other than 
Uh, we have a vent on the outside of the fireplace chimney. I'm actually gonna change that out to a black one uh, to make it look a little better and probably put it on the side over here. But the big update is the sun porch here. So this will kind of give us a mud room on the house. It'll give us a uh, you know, place to sit, a little bit extra room inside the house, a little more square footage. Um, we're gonna have a deck right back here. You can see the uh, you can see the two sauna tubes there. That's for the deck, so the deck will fill in that space right there. Where that mat is is actually lined up where the door is. But there'll be a set of windows back here. We'll have a set of lights up on top and some speakers to play some music out here. For our, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this before or not, but we have a nice deck up here that has a screen room that goes on it, then a fire pit, and kind of basically out in the woods here, back behind the house. Like I said, to get you guys some orientation, back that way is the uh, apple orchard up that hill right there, about a half mile. So see, there's the door. These are the tubes and here's where the deck is. That's the bathroom window and the master bedroom window if you're trying to figure out where it is in comparison to the house. But, so. but it's definitely come together. A lot of cool updates. Um, sorry I didn't have any updates along the way on building this. We've been heads down trying to get everything done and put together and I just haven't had a chance to really get a lot of other stuff put together. But definitely a lot of updates to come. Like I said, electrical and plumbing is this weekend and uh, we're hoping to also get uh, some of the basic work around the fireplace, the rock work on the outside done, get this punched in uh, over the next week, um, get the door in, get the door to the house in, get the window inside prepped, get the two windows inside, get the fireplace all measured up. Got a lot of things going on. I'll show you what's going on downstairs too, and why I have this outfit on. Uh, we'll kind of go through some of that stuff. As you can see, my pile of lumber is uh, going down pretty significantly. Um, we'll have another one here when we start moving on to the next phase of this, but. This is basically some of the lumber for the deck and some of the lumber for the walls in there. One other update, if you remember my massive wood pile that we have, well, it's all stacked. So that hopefully will last us for this season and next season. This little stuff here we'll end up putting up in some boxes and uh, storing in the garage and it'll make good kindling, but uh, definitely uh, looking good on this stuff. This uh, wood pile is, is pretty massive, like I said. This will probably last us about a year, maybe two. So, one other item, I don't know if people knew this or not, but I have a camera up here that connects to the internet and uh, takes video of the driveway and the back of the house and, and sends it directly to my phone so that I always have a set of eyes up here in case there's any problems or concerns or anything like that. But uh, nice thing you know, is it's really inexpensive. I think I paid $49.99 for it and you know, there's no service fees or anything like that. You just hook it up and as long as you have internet, it works. It's wireless, so I didn't have any wires out here. I just had to plug it into the wall outlet. Eventually we'll mount one on the house. I kind of want one on the side yard and one on the back of the house, but it's kind of a nice way to keep tabs on, a, on your property when you're not one here. Another update, when I go downstairs, I'll show you the furnace, but uh, the propane tank here and the gas line will be taken care of hopefully in the next week or so. And uh, it'll go in the corner of the house right there. One other update is, as I said, the electrical is getting updated. That's our old electric pole right there. And our service actually ran through the woods back there and up through the air to the house. Uh, what they did was they put this new pole in. They're gonna put our transformer up on the top there, run a line down the side of the pole here and then underground. And if you see these little white flags in the yard, it's gonna run up underground, up to the front of the house there and connect in on the side. We'll have a new 200 amp service uh, and it'll all be underground, so hopefully we won't have any issues with trees or anything like that, at least on our property here. That and you don't have all the wires kind of hanging in the air and just kind of unsightly, so uh, we're kind of tidying that up. Right here is the current electric service, so that will get moved out to that pole further out from the house. And then all this line and everything like that will come out of here. All that will go and a new electric service will be put in uh, this week. Big update here. Underneath here, brand new water heater. So we'll hopefully get that moved over here this week. And then as you can see, we're unboxing a lot of stuff here. This plywood will be used for the electrical. But I thought I'd show you behind us. Our new friend, Mr. Furnace is going in. So we got a high efficiency furnace that has a DC motor in it. 
most furnaces uh, nowadays have DC motors versus the older versions which had AC motors. Basically, a DC motor runs kind of like uh, the difference between an incandescent light bulb and an LED light bulb. Incandescent would be to the same thing as an old AC uh, motor. The DC ones run a lot more efficient. They use a lot less energy. They run a lot quieter. I mean, to the point where when this thing is running, you probably won't hear it because you won't hear the fan motor blowing because of that. Kind of a unique thing. Um, this switch right here is actually going to just control a light that's going to be inside of this space. This box here is actually pretty important. It's got a couple different things going on. One, the water heater will be hooked up to it. So we have um, power to that for the vent to get it out of the house. Uh, number two is there's an electric line that goes to the heat dump, which is right here, which will connect into the furnace cold air and then draw the hot air off of the fireplace and run it into the furnace. And then number three is the fan for the fireplace will go here. And the reason why these circuits are all kind of separated along with the furnace separated is we're putting in a transfer switch. And uh, when I finally get the panels up, I'll kind of explain what a transfer switch does. But when the power goes out, I would just come downstairs here, flip a switch in the basement, and then fire up a generator outside. And basically that generator then would power specific circuits inside the house. And some of those circuits are including these right here. Last couple here, uh, sorry for the fan noise, but these are, this is the wall. I just finished painting it with that epoxy stuff. I'll be uh, painting the rest of this here uh, coming soon. The reason why I'm painting this here is because we need to put sheetrock up right over here. And then that is where that plywood's going, which will have our um, electrical panels on it. And we're gonna start running our electrical service. As you can see up above, the heat duct is in. Uh, and we're going to start doing the trunk lines to uh, run the heat in the house here.